What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be playing a Ho-Oh team by Mr. Kurtastic himself. Thank you so much for making this team. Ho-Oh is so cool. Now, we've got Ho-Oh here with Life Orb, Sacred Fire, and Brave Bird, just to do a ton of damage and Chen Pao next to it to make that damage even better. To make that damage even betterer, we've got Sunny Day Tornadus, and then to fill, just filling out the Firewater Grass Core with this Pre-Marina and Rillaboom here. Now the final mod on this slot is Gudra, and if you know me at all, you know I'm a sucker for Gudra. It's the exact set that I always love to run. Leftovers, Body Slam, Heavy Slam, Shelter, Protect. This one's Terra Flying. Terra Flying's perfectly fine on it. As long as you resist Sacred Sword, I feel like your Terra on Gudra is golden. So, let's get on with it. Alright, here we go. We've got a Calyrex Ice Team. Hopefully ho is a good matchup into that. Uh, they also have Torkoal, Indeedy, Brute Bonnet, Annihilate, which makes me think it's a Gambit Mon. Um, and just some Urshifu of some kind. So they're going to set up Trick Room and then they're going to start blasting. How can I stop Trick Room? I don't think this Rillaboom is min speed. So I probably won't get terrain if they lead into terrain. But what I can do... Huh. Tornadus... I don't have Taunt. I guess I just have to slow play it. I'm gonna lead Chen Pao, ho -Oh, Rillaboom, Gudra. I think Gudra with the defense boost can do pretty well. I wanna lead Chen Pao so that I can s possibly sucker punch if they do try to go final gambit eight. And I can get that if I swap like into Rillaboom to get rid of terrain. Maybe, we'll see. I think I have the right four. Um, would Primarina have been good here? Yeah, maybe. I, Tornadus is a no. It's not Tornadus. Oh, that's a great card. Yeah, it's, it's not Tornadus. Oh. Really Torkoal? And Calyrex? You sure? You sure about that, bro? That seems pretty risky to me. Uh, I am worried about Torkoal, but I feel like Torkoal would just protect. Calyrex is forced to Terra for sure. <clears throat> I think maybe Sacred Sword and Sacred Fire at the Calyrex is the right play. Okay, yeah, they just swap, presumably, into Indeedee. Uh, into Annihilate. And they just protect. Okay. And then I, dou I doubled Calyrex, but uh, you got me there. Okay. Are you going to try to final Gambit? If so, I should Sucker Punch you. And still try to Sacred Fire the Calyrex. I, I don't see myself doing anything different. Yeah, you can go for a Terra. Paratype of water. Yeah, it's the most common. I still have a really good burn chance. And if you go for final game, but I can get the sucker punch. If not, whatever. Decent damage. Final gambit? It is final gambit. Does about half to ho -Oh. If I get the burn, I'm really happy with this. Ooh, big damage too. 
No burn. And they set up trick. Okay. Hobo can get some health back by swapping, maybe. Don't think it'll take a Glacial Lance, at least not with Chen Pao on the field. And plus they're gonna have- they have Torkoal at least. We know that. Gudra doesn't feel very safe swapping in. But if you're gonna just bring that in hard like that... I mean, obviously I can double protect. Like, protecting both here is free, so I'm gonna take it. The problem is Torkoal moves first, so it'll break the sash. And then Calyrex will get a KO. We're in a bad position, honestly. Uh, just Heat Wave. Okay, they know Sucker Punch might have been a play. They're just accepting that Sucker Punch might be a play. And then Glacial Lance. Oh boy. Getting Rillaboom in safely will give me a fake out turn, which could be nice. And Chen Pao has its sash and maybe should use it. I wouldn't be using it because I'd be double getting doubled into, but I should sucker punch while I have the shot. Sucker punch the Calyrex. Bring Ho Oh out to get some HP back and go into Gudra, who might be able to take this double up. Maybe. I don't think it's a Specs Torkoal. And Gudra is a beast. Okay damage from Sucker Punch. I was hoping for more. Someone dodges a Heat Wave. That's great. Either one. Yeah, and then presumably Glacial Lance, and you'll get an attack boost now. Oh my god! That did so much damage! <laughs> What the heck? My only play is Rillaboom. Did way too much damage, oh my gosh. The sun is almost done. Trick Room has two turns. I want to Terra Fire my Rillaboom either way. And I'll go for Grassy Glide on the Calyrex. If they attack with Calyrex and bring in Ndidi, they could knock out Gudra. If they protect and Heat Wave, either of those events I want to protect Gudra here. Yeah, okay. I just gotta get out of this Trick Room. Oh boy, and I may not be done just because I get out of Trick Room, because if they do have Ndidi in the back... Well, it seems like they're at least not hard swapping in Ndidi. So maybe they don't have Ndidi at all. I'd be fine if they don't have it at all. Are you just going to let me glide your Calyrex here? Yeah, you are. Awesome. I'll take it. Thank you. Now you're locked in here on your last turn of sun, so you lose the sun. That helps Gudra a lot. That helps... I mean... The sun wasn't too big a deal, but it does make it do more damage to Ho-Oh. So presumably Ho-Oh can now beat that one-on-one. -on -one. So if we can focus down the other thing and get rid of it, we are golden. I just need to know what the other thing is. Brute Bonnet. That's nasty. Last turn of Trick Room, you won't be setting another one. Uh, I'm gonna go for high horsepower on the Torkoal. And a body press on the Brute Bonnet. 
Battle was just cancelled. Yeah, you, were, you weren't getting out of Trick Room, that's fair. Good game. Very cool card. Alright, here we've got a Regulation F team. They've got Bronzong, they've got Tinglu, Tyranitar, Heatran, Landorus, Golden Go. They've got a lot of bulk on this team. Oh my goodness, they have so much bulk on this team. Uh, is Ho-Oh threatened if it pulls out the Terra Grass? Yes, because Landorus can hit it and Heatran can hit it. So I'm, I'm just a little worried about like Tyranitar. Primarina hits so hard. Primarina could mess these things up. And Terra Dragon, that is the right Terra to have in this position. Okay, I like Primarina a lot. Maybe I can give it some support with Rillaboom for the start. Just let Purina go ham, keep it a little bit safer. I like that lead. Obviously I want ho -Oh. Like, ho -Oh is good, except into Tyranitar. Unless, like, Tinglu has Stone Edge or something, but that's not very common. And then, Gudra is good against not Landorus. Chen Pao can at least hit everything. Chen Pao can hit absolutely everything. And maybe Sacred Sword for their Bronzong might be necessary later. Yeah, Gudra would need its Terra. I don't know if I want to save Terra for Gudra, so... I'm not gonna go Gudra this route. Not, th not this time around. Gudra would be good. Iron Defense Gudra would be good here. Cool card. I just think I, if I have the other four, I think I have what I need to win. Th that's how I see it. Bronzong and Kitar on lead. Is this Trick Room into... Bulldoze weakness policy shenanigans? That might be what this is. Yeah, I'm gonna fake out Bronzong and I'm gonna hyper voice. That's all I'm gonna do. Go before Tyranitar. I don't do much damage. Throat spray activates. That feels like a salt vest, so I think I was scared of weakness policy for nothing. And they have Thunderbolt. Did not expect that. Okay. It is a Thunderbolt Tyranitar. Good to know. Um. <laughs> they. Uh, uh, I'm gonna protect Primarina and just wood hammer the Tyrant target. I don't know what to think about it. This will at least force out a Terra. At most, it'll take Tyranitar away, which is great. Okay, yeah, I'm cool with that. You probably get your Trick Room, but I mean, I just I'll just deal with that. I don't want to I don't want to fight Special Tyranitar anymore. That thing was scary. Bronzong does set trick. Like, my team's slow enough. Our plan was to be bulky anyway, so... I'm not too worried about this. I would like to get a, off another Hyper Voice or two. Lowering our stats. Okay. I'm gonna hyper voice. And I'm gonna wood hammer Ting Lu. Like, I, I'm gonna force out a Terra. Once again. There it is. Finally. Finally, we get to see the Terra. They were saving it for Ting Lu. Terra Rock, though. I'm okay with that. The Wood Hammer will still be pretty good if I can get it. Throat Chop blocking my hyper, my hyper Voice. Wow. Body Press doesn't do enough without any uh, boosts. And I get my Wood Hammer. It should do a ton. All of it. 
Goodbye, Ting Lu. Okay, this is the Rillaboom show. <laughs> Feed me more rock types. If I even survive long enough. Does Rillaboom go down from here? I don't remember where it, its sand chip is. Yeah, it goes down. Okay. Thank you for your service, Rillaboom. Now, sand is still up, so I don't think I want to use Chen Pao yet. I'll go into ho -Oh. ho -Oh isn't really afraid of Bronzong. And it's not really afraid of Heatran either. Perfect. The fact that I can't hyper voice because of that throat chop, though. Oof. Alright. Throat chop one. Trick room three. Sandstorm two. So I can't have Pre-Marina die on this turn. No, there's two turns of sand, so there's chip this turn, and then when it goes away, there isn't chip. So Pre-Marina can go down this turn, actually. It would be okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to do anything anyway. I'll double Bronzong. Bronzong could be the biggest threat with Iron Defense. Heatran, I mean, Ho-Oh can't really hit Heatran very well anyway. Yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna hit Bronzong. Yeah, it goes for the Iron Defense. That's the right play. Good damage from Moonblast. Thank you, Free Marina. You can go now. Yeah, perfect timing. Now, hopefully, Sacred Fire can take out Bronzong and we can double up into this. It does. Perfect. Thank you, Ho Oh. We are good. A little bit of sand chip, fine. We have Sacred Sword and Brave Bird, and that should be enough. Sacred Sword, Brave Bird, goodbye. Oh no, my Chan Pao! Whatever will I do? Brave Bird, pretty good. I'll, I like that damage. That did a lot of damage next to Chen Pao. Wow. ho -Oh is amazing. <laughs> and Heatran is gone. GG's. Simple S. Alright. I like it. Probably could have brought in Heatran on any one of those wood hammers, but it's all good. Alright, here we go. A Terrapagos Comfe Sableye team. With just the Fire, Water, Grass, Core of Incin, Rillaboom, Urshifu. Presumably Water Urshifu. That's kind of scary. What do I have that beats Comfe Terrapagos? Well, I need physical attackers. Thankfully, I have those so many. So many physical attackers. In fact, Gudra's amazing here. And it's... Oh... A lot of special defense EVs. Okay, okay, yeah, that's the one. It's Gudra. It is the bring Gudra and keep it safe game. Okay, Gudra will win us the day. So I need to Gudra and I need to Rillaboom. I need I need to fake out, get Gudra set up. Gudra set up is my end game for Terrapagos. It's my way of beating everything, honestly. Honestly? What, what beats Gudra? I mean, Terrapagos with enough Calm Mind boost is what beats it. Uh, I don't have Snarl or anything, but I do have Chen Pao, who's not bad into Terrapagos either with Sacred Sword and the Sash. And then I'm bringing ho -Oh, it's the stat stick. Uh, I won't, probably won't be able to afford to Terra it, so I have to keep it away from Urshifu. Uh, I could bring Pre-Marina for Urshifu, but Pre-Marina doesn't really want to fight Terrapagos, it doesn't really want to fight Rillaboom. Find into Incent. And they don't even have a trainer card? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, let's see what information we can get about these two. Alright, Sableye and Tarapagos. Well, 
Sableye. I know Sableye has to go. It's got like Encore, Disable, Will-O-Wisp, a whole bunch of stuff I don't want to deal with right now. I'm going to try to set a shelter. And I'm going to try to wood hammer the Sableye. Okay, they just reflect. And the Tropagos is just calming its mind. Fine. I'm hoping Woodhammer is a two-shot into Sable Lot. Perfect. Because now I can get around Encore onto Gudra by Protect Woodhammer. Obviously I can get so much more momentum if I don't do that, but I need to do that. I Encore could just end the game right here. Like I, like I said in Team Preview, protect Gudra at all costs. And it might cost me everything, because if Tropicos gets too many boosts, I'm going to be in trouble. But, um, we'll see. Tech come out from Gudra, no Terra from them yet. Will-O-Wisp at Gudra, thank you. Perfect. Yeah, that would have messed me up just as much. So getting rid of Sableye, amazing. Now, I, if, I, if I can, they might go into one of their fake out mods here. But if I can, I would love to just glide, and then body press their Terrapagos right now. Through Reflect at plus two, do we KO? No. But doing a big chunk would be great. Yeah, I'm happy with Grassy Glide and body press. And then they'll be like, oh, I'll just heal it up with Comfey. Yeah, you will, whatever. But you can't heal it up this turn because your triage will make you go before Grassy Glide, even. And you just protect, yeah. That makes sense. Yep. Break your Terra Shell. Cool. And then see how much a plus two body press will do. You are getting way too many Call Mind boosts. I'm starting to get scared of you. Decent damage. Unfortunately, they are above half. It's time to take out the Comfey. This Terrapagos at some point is going to just start blasting, and that's trouble. <clears throat> but we can take out Comfey now. They'll heal up to full. We double into Comfey, take it out. Terrapagos V World. And they could still win this. I can see them still winning with just Terrapagos versus everything. Oh, are they burning Terra right away? Okay. They're going for it now. They're like, it's time to go. Let's go. Yeah, and they'll, they'll probably send the healing over that way. Getting rid of the grass. I, I hope I can live. I think both of my mons can live the plus three Star Storm. They're faster too, good to know. Come on, y'all are tanky, right? Oof, that did a lot though. Alright, uh, Comfey hopefully goes down to this heavy slam. Perfect. Alright, uh. Gudra not looking too great now, because that did a hundred and two damage. Is that right? And it's Water Urshifu. So it's just Close Combat Terra Bla and Stellar Terra Blast. ho -Oh is faster than Rillaboom. I 
think I have to give both of these mons up here. Uh, if they make a mistake and let me take something, that'd be great, but I don't think they're gonna make that mistake. They close combated. I wonder if they are choiced or not. If they're choiced, that would be huge. If they're not choiced, I'd be in big trouble. Because presumably they want to close combat into Chen Pao here. But, if they can swap it and swap to Surging Strikes, they might just want to hit ho -Oh. Would they be Scarf? I think they would be. I think Scarf makes a lot of sense on that Urshifu. So I think they're going to go after Chen Pao. They're going to whiff into Terra Ghost. It doesn't matter what I take from Star Storm, because I have Sash anyway. Sacred Sword and Brave Bird. If it takes out Terrapagos, we win against the Scarfers. Uh, if they're not Scarf, uh, we'll still get the Sacred Sword. And then it depends on what Urshifu tries to do. Uh, if they're not Scarf, they could protect Terrapagos and go, and go with the Surging Strikes. Then we lose. Ooh, they're not Scarfed. And they do click Surging Strikes into Ho-Oh. Okay, yeah. Uh, not sure we would have been able to do enough anyway. Good game. Yeah, because if Sacred Sword is only doing that much to Terrapagos, yeah, we didn't have a chance. If Reflect is still up and everything. Yeah. Good game. Couldn't even protect to stall out that stuff because of Urshifu. That's a good team. That's fun. Okay. And now they'll presumably just Aqua Jet. I'm going to forfeit. Good game, Terrapagos. Terrapagos is so cool. I'm surprised it's not bigger, though. Like, I would think Terrapagos, they would make it, like, planet-sized or something. I don't know. All right, we've got a Groudon team, and a scary one at that. Groudon, Entei, Fluttermane, Fire Pond, Tornadus, and Gapdos. How do I want to handle this? That is a lot of physical, so Gudra wouldn't be bad. Though the physical they have is pretty good against Gudra. Uh, Terra Flying Gudra is pretty interesting. I would worry about sun-boosted fire moves. Uh, ho -Oh is so solid. ho -Oh is so good here. Oh my goodness. I love ho -Oh here so much. Until they pull out the Power Gem Fluttermane. So I'm gonna save ho -Oh in the bag. I'm gonna Gudra Rillaboom. Try to get a defense boost up. Chen Pao ain't bad. There's a few ice weaknesses there. And then ho -Oh. Uh, Primarina probably won't be good. They've got grass types. They've got... Well, they have a grass type. They have sun set up. And Tornadus for speed control? I mean... They have faster mons. Like, speed booster flutter in the sun? I'm not catching that. And they can set their own tailwind. Like, maybe I could catch speed booster flutter if ho -Oh was max speed. But if they're max speed on Fluttermane... Then, uh, yeah, then Ho-Oh would have to be max speed to catch it under Tailwind. So I'm, I'm not going to try to play the speed game. I could play with Pre-Marina and try to slow them down, but I feel like Ogre Pond is coming. And then they'll just throw a grass move and it'll be over. And they got a Golden Go picture. Okay. Not many people take pictures of the Golden Go. People don't be liking Golden Go's design, I guess. Tornadus and Fluttermane. Yep, good thing I didn't go the Tornadus route of my own. And they are just booster energy on Fluttermane. That means they probably don't have Power Gem. Special Attack Booster. Oh. Alright, who do you swap into a Heavy Slam? Pretty much anyone you want. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I want to shelter really bad. So I'm gonna go ahead, shelter, and try to fake out Tornadus even. Obviously, Cloak and Taunt is a total possibility here. So there is a little bit of a risk of that, but I'm minimizing it. They have to be both Cloak and Taunt. Or Terra Ghost. They, they wouldn't Terra Ghost here. I think I apply enough pressure to Fluttermane that it's going to swap or protect, though. Because Woodhammer could take it out and Heavy Slam could take it out. So it has to be at least aware of that. Plus, with how often Rillaboom runs Assault Vest and how tanky Gudra is, you're not really going to do much damage. Yeah, and they swap. Good. If I can get this shelter up, I'm in a great position. And they brought Ogre Pond. Cool. Fake out goes off. And they click Sunny Day. Okay. They are Cloak, but they didn't have Taunt. I'm happy with that. Could not be better. Now, the problem is, is Ho-Ho about to take an Ivy Cudgel? Yeah, probably. Alright, I'll set up another shelter. I could Terra Rillaboom, but that would be so bad into Groudon. I need the Terra on Gudra, probably. I'm gonna set up another shelter. And I'm gonna bring in Ho-Ho. And I'm gonna Ho-Ho hope for the best. <laughs> Rillaboom is just so threatened here. Ho-Ho can probably take this double up, but then if they like Bleak Wind and Ivy Cudgel into ho ho slot, they'll probably knock it out next time. They had Taunt the whole time? They had Taunt the whole time. Okay, give me a body press into the Ogre Pond. I'll just protect Ho-Oh. -Oh. Ho Ho's probably the threat to them. Oh, they spiky shield. Interesting. I just set up Tailwind. I don't really care about your Tailwind. I'm not as fast as you. Mostly worried about what you're gonna do to my Ho-Ho if you just Terra. Uh, yeah, I think I'll body press into that slot again and basically sacrifice Rillaboom. Ho-Ho coming in safely at full can threaten both of those Mons. But, where it is now, a Terrifier Ivy Cudgel could just blow it up. Because of the sun. And Gudra, I mean, Gudra's not in a bad position. If I can take out Tornadus and stop those taunts, that'd be great. And I think I can do that. If I sacrifice Rillaboom, I can bring Ho-Oh right back in healthier. And then I should be able to take whatever and throw Sacred Fires left and right. For a turn, maybe two. I don't know. Ogre Pond's still crazy. But, uh, sorry, Rillaboom. Uh, do your best to, like, dodge, maybe? Or maybe they don't target you? That'd be cool. We know Tornadus is cloaked. Uh, I think they are going for the Terra Fire Ivy Cudgel play. Yep, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt so bad. They don't have Mold Breaker, so they can't break Gudra's Shell Armor anymore. They gave that up. But they're still going to do a ton. If, if they target Gudra, they can still do a ton right here. I'm only at plus two. They did target it. Interesting. We take that pretty well. Yeah, that was okay. And a body press. Nice damage. Good job, Gudra. Love that. Get a little bit of healing back. Thank you. Taunt is gone. It's 
risky. I want a heavy slam and wood hammer into Tornadus. I think Ogre Pond protects itself. They know I know their cloak on Tornadus. They should spiky shield. And I'm just gonna read it. Yeah, they do. Good. Good, good, good. Show me just taunt on Gudra. That'd be fine. Oh, uh, they go for Bleak Wind. And they don't even hit Rillaboom. That's perfectly fine. We're gonna take out Tornadus. No more speed control, no more taunts. So your Ogre Pond is still there and being a threat, but we can sucker punch that later or something. And the sun fades. I wonder if Grassy Glide could pick up. I doubt it. Ogre Pond can take some hits. Oh, and Grass is gone now. Terrible timing. <laughs> King Gizzard. Yeah, that's Groudon. Okay, they've got the Groudon in. Well. You probably want to hit Gudra with Groudon and Ivy Cudgel the Rillaboom, right? I could make a read. They could KO both. If they Heat Crash Rillaboom and Ivy Cudgel Gudra, they could take them both out. And that would be... Bad? Wouldn't be the worst. It's where I want to burn Terra anyway. It's all body press there. You do some weird play, I'll try to wood hammer your grout on. This might not work. If they just Ivy Cudgel Gudra, this won't work. But if they went for a ground move, we're golden. Oh, they protect grout on. They Ivy Cudgel who? They Ivy Cudgel Rillaboom! I'm so happy with that. That's perfectly fine. Thank you. Love that. Goodbye, Ogre Pond. Let's go. Now it's time to put Ho-Oh in a good position. Let's do it. Until Groudon pulls out like Rock Slide. And Tailwind is finally gone. How fast are you, Ho-Oh? 120? You've got the same base speed as Groudon, so I mean, we could be faster than Groudon. Who knows? But I think the play... I think Fluttermane's gonna be fastest on the field. Doesn't have Terra. Uh, we could bait out Protects if we just double Protect here. I think that's the thing to do. We can bait out... I mean, we know Groudon can't protect this turn, but Fluttermane can protect this turn. Also, I get an extra tick of leftovers for protecting. And I get to see if they have Rock Slide. So if they have Rock Slide and, like, Icy Wind, we're in trouble. Or if the Fluttermane just has Power Gem for some reason, that would also be trouble. But I feel like Booster Energy doesn't usually carry that sort of thing. They have Thunderbolt. That's gonna hurt. And they have Rock Slide. Oh no! That's really bad. That's about as bad as it gets. Okay. <laughs> I 
heavy slam. We are adamant. They are modest, so at worst it's a speed tie between Chen Pao and Flutter. But, oh boy, heavy slam here. I'll also go for a sacred fire on the Flutter Rain. Uh, I think Kudra goes down. Yeah, single target rock slide will take ho -Oh, and then we cannot win. Unless... Icicle Crash flinches are still an option. Rock slide dodges are still an option. Let's go! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, it's never over. Oh, when there's rock slide, it's never over. Okay. Is there any benefit from stalling out the sun? No, well now there's a benefit to them for stalling out the sun. Ice, uh, two rock slides will kill Chen Pao. Yeah, I'm just gonna attack with my strongest moves. Uh, Brave Bird isn't my strongest move, but like it hits, so I'm gonna click that instead. Yeah, and Rock Slide with sort of Ruin Boost does take us out. That's fine. You've got no priority. And so Sacred Sword will finish you off after you protect for a turn. Just to... I don't know. Maybe we speed tied and you want to not go down to Sucker Punch. That That's... sure. We don't speed tie, but you don't know that. Sacred Sword finishes off Groudon. Let's... that camera cut was kind of weird. Let's go. Oh yeah. Good job, ho -Oh. That rock slide dodge was so clutch. Oh my goodness. Good game. Alright, and we are back. Had some good matches today. Fought a Terrapagos, fought a Groudon, fought a Calyrex Ice, and ho -Oh came out on top most of the time. Uh, that Groudon having rock slide, that doesn't happen a lot, but when it happens, ho -Oh doesn't like it. Uh, but we dodged anyway. Woo! Uh, anyways, I hope you liked this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and leave a like here. I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.